it's not just about big names. Jerry Gladstone's here. He wrote a book called The Common Thread, which is already selling incredibly. It's called Overcoming. The subtitle is of Overcoming Adversity and Living Your Dreams. Uh, so the other story is, what about the founder of Tap Out? Absolutely. Punk ass. That's his, uh, his nickname. Uh, tremendous amount of uh, self-doubt. Sounds derogatory, but he embraced well, it. Well, he absolutely embraced it and how to create that brand. And uh, for all the MMA fans out there, before the... Uh, industry really started he started with 200 bucks right well, it was unbelievable you know when you get submitted you tap out and he said hey there's no brand out there so he took his logo called tap out way back when he would pay guys like chuck liddell who get an enormous amount of money now 100 150 dollars to wear it would sell the t-shirts out of the trunk of his car grew it grew it grew it ufc bought a piece of it a couple of years back Two hundred million dollars later, he sold it out. And when Very you, inspirational. And when you look at Seth MacFarlane, for example, another guy extremely driven. Seth MacFarlane was actually in our gallery when he was about twenty-five years old, and real humble guy. His uh, show Family Guy was canceled several times and moved around the schedule. The confidence that he had about himself and about others was just indispensable. I mean, that's what was really his message. If you believe in yourself, keep moving forward. Right, and that's key. So when you talk about common threads, people like uh, who aren't sports fans or Howard Stern fans or didn't like the Rockies, what do you want people to take from them? You got to be relentless. You got to have a clear vision, correct? There's, expect obstacles. There's no, yeah, you know, th these guys look at obstacles and setbacks as learning experiences. We are all going to have obstacles. Trust me when I tell you, these guys have um, financial problems. They get fired. You know, they, they have the same obstacles and challenges that we do, but they look at setbacks as really a learning experience. The thing that they do, they're very optimistic. They tell themselves why something can be done over and over. Unfortunately, we constantly play the worst case scenario over and over in life, and what we do, we put our self-imposed roadblocks right in front of us. So if we have a goal, instead of kind of moving forward towards, towards that goal, we tell ourselves why something can't get done, so we basically get stuck. These individuals are extremely optimistic, and they keep moving forward. You know, you have Mark Cuban in the book, and he kind of lets you know on Shark Tank, too, is like the, the struggle is part of it. Don't look for a quick fix. He takes, he embraces the fact that he was sleeping on people's floors for a long time and struggling with almost nothing in the bank. Yeah, absolutely. It's about grit with him. You know, business to him is a, uh, is a full contact sport. He plays to win. And uh, real good guy, very giving guy, but he plays the win. And let's face it, we're all going to have competitors out there. And there's always somebody who wants to take your job and somehow do better than you. Now, tonight, you're going to be in Huntington, Long Island, one of the great bookstores around Book Review, correct? Yes, sir. So you're going to be, where? how do we, uh, what time do you start signing? Uh, 6.45, I'll be doing about a 20-minute speech or so, a little talk about the book. And then I'll be doing a sign uh, right after. So that'd be great. Go down there. There's usually a huge line. It's always, it's like one of these last uh, independent bookstores out there. So we're going to do it. And also, we want to go get it, Jerry. What do we do? Uh, well, you can get on Amazon right now, or you can go to my website, the Common Thread Book. Dot com. That's the common thread book dot com. And how do you, what do you think that you learned along the way in becoming successful? It empowered me because I realized when you sit in the room with these guys, they're just like me and you. They put their pants on the same way, you know, that we do. They've overcome a lot of things. And what these guys do, what it taught me is that no matter what, under any and all circumstances, you need to keep moving forward. That's it. Keep moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. The smartest guy in the class or the smartest girl in the class don't necessarily be successful. It's about more about determination to drive. Absolutely. All right, the common thread is the name of the book. Go get it or get it for somebody that could really use uh, a little pick-me-up because it's certainly there. Jerry, thanks so much. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Brian. Kill me to friends.